everyone, welcome to World of Monsters. I am Shelves from Hot Pencil. For today's episode, I am going to talk about zombies. Precisely, voodoo zombies. Or, um, Haitian zombies. They are not, they don't look as scary as their brain hungry zombie counterparts, but the reality and the fact that the way they tr- turn people into those type of zombies is really scary and terrifying in its own right. Um, as a kid who grew up in Haiti, I have had um, small experiences with zombies, you know. You'll be walking out at night and you'll see people wearing white walking um, in the dark and stuff like that. And usually they have a rope tied around their neck or their arms being yanked away by shady figures and stuff like that. And, you know, you get home and people will wait a couple of weeks, a couple of days, and they will tell you, you see that person you saw? That was a zombie. Dead. That's the extent I went to with close up with a zombie, a Haitian voodoo zombie, whatever the hell it is. Um, In this video, I am going to share with you a couple of informations that I've gathered throughout living in Haiti. I don't know if they're factual. I hope they are not because they are horrible. Um, But those informations are not as well known as the voodoo doll. The way you turn, you get turned into a voodoo zombie is by becoming into contact with with a white powder or there's a voodoo priest or somebody who wants your soul and after the same day you have been buried around midnight dig you up and perform some sort of ceremony on you why would someone do those kind of things to you well first off they would do those kind of things to you um, if you piss somebody off if they don't like you if you're too smart for your own good if you act uh, like a brat with people you don't know, it usually have to do with people not liking you, and they will do this to you. Um, you not be turned into a zombie for no reason. There has to be a reason for it. Even if the reason is messed up, it's not. Even if it is not truly justified, but the person doing it has to justify it to to themselves to commit such a horrible act. The most terrifying part of someone turning into a zombie is the fact that if you live close to a cemetery, you'll be seen at your house, you know, if you don't sleep early, around midnight, you'll hear someone being beaten, like someone being um, tortured with lashes. You will hear the lashes, then you will hear the person mumbling, crying for help, and they usually do it with their voices, you know knows that it's nozzle so it's usually them yelling in a weird fashion you know it's a zombie who's yelling and they usually be yelling for their family members to come help them but the problem with that is if you listen to your heart and you actually go out there um, you risk being killed yourself or worse being attacked by your loved one who would proceed to break your neck or to do something horrible to you and the person who's resurrecting the, the, the dead and turning them into a zombie they have to be tough they have to be exact they have to be really really strong that's one of the reason a woman would not want to do this thing the reason for that is if you go and you try to resurrect a s- dead with the voodoo whatever the hell you do um it might attack you and you have to be able to fend yourself from it And the problem with it attacking you is the fact that once they punch you and they run away, you can't catch them because, you know, they're zombies and Haitian zombies, they can run fast and in a worst case scenario, they can teleport. Um, You're dead. They just need to touch you once. If you don't touch them back or you don't punch them back, you're dead. They don't need to bite you. They don't need to do anything horrible to you. All they have to do is touch you. And you're dead. Now, contrary to what a lot of people have come to know about zombies in the media. um, The Haitian zombies and voodoo zombies, they're not idiots. They're not mindless brutes. They have a mind. Even though that mind is 
has all the characteristics of somebody being drugged, they can perform this complex task such as selling in a store. They can give you change back. Um, they can uh, take care of a whole house. They can clean it up. Do all kinds of stuff. So zombies or voodoo zombies are usually used as slave, um, free handymen. That's what they are. And um, they're not only used for that aspect. Um, if you're a woman and you're, you're turned into a voodoo zombie, usually se you're usually used as a sex slave. Or that people would marry you. You know, you don't like someone, you don't want to marry them, they will turn you into a zombie. And possibly, to me, turning into a zombie is like they drug you out of your freaking mind. And they will force you to marry that person. So that's a horrible thing happening in Haiti. And, uh... I don't know how rampant it is now, but yeah, it's happening. So, zombies are usually um, a more scientific definition of a voodoo zombie. It is somebody who somehow appeared dead to their loved one or family who has been buried. Then they are, they are unburied and they are drugged out of their mind. They are beaten into submission. And they are taken away by voodoo priest or whoever want the zombie. Um, zombies, when you get turned into a zombie, they usually take you from wherever you are buried and they move to another state with you. So nobody would recognize you. The reason for that is it is easy for people to turn you back to normal when you get turned into a voodoo zombie. And all you need is a majestic salt. Yeah, that thing you can walk you know, buy the sea and find salt. You can buy at a thrift shop. Yeah, that's all you need to cure voodoo zombie. It's not as complicated as a lot of movies with scientists coming with cures. You don't need um, a biology degree. You don't need to know anything about medicine. All you need is some salt and a way for you to introduce it into their food. When you get turned into a zombie, the person who turns you into a zombie usually tell you not to eat food from nobody else but them so all somebody has to do to get you back you know to normal where you're not a zombie where you're not mumbling where you're not doing anything your master tell you to do where you are free is by introducing some salt into your diet i've heard of many cases of family members having one of the families turn into zombies and uh finding out they are zombies and they are living in a state you know neighbor in a in an in a neighboring state um they show up they give it salt that person will turn back to normal go back to their you know old life and uh they point at the person needed to them justice is serve and uh, you know happy endings but there in addition to getting your life back uh, when you eat salt as a zombie you also get perks and that's one of the things a lot of you would kind of willingly turn into those kind of things if you believe in magic and stuff like that. Um, the first perk you get is evil spirits. I'm talking ghosts. I'm talking banshee. I'm talking werewolves. I'm talking vampires. I'm talking all kind of evil monsters. Um, they will not attack you. The reason for that is, um, to their logic, you have already been buried. You have been dead. You have died already. They don't need to kill you again. So you will be walking past vampires. They will be eating people around left, right. But they will not attack you. They will, werewolf will kill other people. They will not kill you. Um, ghost will hunt other people. They will not hunt you. And in addition to that, you will be... Um, you have a... If you're playing RPG, <laughs> you will have a resistance to magic. So black magic, white magic would not work on you. Uh, those, those are the perks and uh, I don't have a lot of more things to add to this um, it is a very sad thing because um, based on what I've gathered and a, a lot of other people's um, analysis of this voodoo zombie situation it is most likely um, a scam for people people are using to use slave because when you are a zombie they don't pay you they, they mistreat you they will beat you every now and then um, you're not eating well and you are in this situation against your will 
and it's horrible. Now, I don't want to end my um, video on a horrible note. I'm the kind of guy who like happy endings, so I'm going to Haiti, and uh, I will try to sell uh, a Walking Dead zombie, not a Haitian voodoo zombie, a Walking Dead zombie, to a person who have been doing zombie, you know, turning people into Haitian zombies for no reason. An evil person and I'm gonna try to sell it to them and uh, get them killed by walking dead zombie and uh, yeah that's 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 gonna be the, the best thing I can do right guys so please folks bear with me here I'm gonna get my best face on and be a good salesman and get the buyer locked in all right um, give me a second <clears throat> okay that's is that a house hmm. Damn, that thing looks scary. Skulls everywhere. Okay, that's a Haitian zombie right here. It's kind of scary. Walk. Okay, I gotta go under there. Okay. Oh, oh hello. Uh, sorry to disturb you in your peace, sir. Um, but I have a, a, but I have a merchandise for you if you would be interested. Uh, no need to be angry at me. I didn't want to, you know, disturb you, but I have a really good merchandise you cannot afford not to buy, my friend. Because believe me, this is an American zombie. It has good education. It knows how to speak English. So, you know, if you don't know how to speak English, it can translate for you. And uh, it even have a green card. So if you want to send it back to America... Uh, you know to work for you to make money and then bring the money back to you. It's easy uh, Do you by any chance? Um, watch TV You don't have time for this You're a businessman. Oh, that's even better. You don't watch TV Yes Okay, this is the same zombie as uh, the zombie you have in your uh, in your uh, in your god damn it the same zombie you used to have, that's the same one. Oh, why does it look decomposed? Don't worry about that, that's an old zombie. The, the, the reason you should buy the zombie it's old, it's because it is wiser. Believe me, the more time someone spent in a zombie state, the wiser they are. And you want it. Oh, trying to bite you? <laughs> That's, a, that's just a way for it to show you its appreciation for its master. Uh, um, get into this cage with it and try to pour some salt on it. That would revert it back to a normal zombie state. Not turn it into human, but revert it back to a more pers docile zombie. Am I certain of this? I am, of course I am certain. Why would I come here and try to sell you uh, a cannibal? Did I say cannibal? No. I meant a slave, a uh, zombie slave. Uh, did I say slave? Ah, uh, god damn it, it's a zombie, a eh? voodoo zombie. It's, it's your best, you know? It's, it's the best thing you can get. Um, how much? Um, you know what? You're a respectful man. I'm gonna give you that zombie for free. And if it doesn't kill you, or did I say kill? No, I meant if it doesn't. You know, if you're not satisfied with it, <laughs> you can buy another one. I'm a good guy. Oh, don't, no need to thank me. I, 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 pre, I like the way you look, man. You, you look cool. You know, I like the skulls you have around here. You know, they really make the place look better. You know, if re you remove those human skulls you have hanging around here with those chicken bones, this house would have been tasteless. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, you gonna get into the cage right now? Don't worry. Get in there. I'm gonna keep the door open for you. Yeah, watch your feet, man. You, you're gonna fall in there. Yeah. Okay, just walk to it and try to talk it out. That is me. Oh, there's another one in there? Holy crap, I didn't remember I had another zombie for you. So you're gonna get two zombies for free today, man. How happy are you? Oh, crap. Yeah. Um, the door is locked. Get you out of here? It's trying to kill you? Um, uh, let me look for the key. Oh, crap. Uh, could you give me, <clears throat> I don't know, three months? Because um, it looks like I forgot the key for the cage. 
all the way back to America. Um, I'll see you in three months, right? <laughs>